the Lord came to me last night. I must go to Moriah and make a sacrifice to him there. Isaac and I will go alone. Why, Isaac? Because the Lord commands it. Performance was amazing. The way that you're Thank able you. to capture Abraham so we can see that inner turmoil. Talk to me about, you know, he goes on this three-day journey with his son. Unpack that a little bit for us. It was, um, there was a lot of turmoil, like you said, and I'm happy that you would, uh, like you were able to see this in the, in the movie because I felt that during those three days while Abraham was reflecting on his life and, and on how, how, how much he was expecting Isaac to come and how much he's waited for Isaac to come and then having to go all the way to Moriah to sacrifice, like to, 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 to sacrifice Isaac, it, it was, for me, I think that in this particular situation, uh, no words can express what this man was feeling. So I tried like, to make it kind of a, like a silent play while looking at him, while sometimes looking at him while he's sleeping with so much love. But when he's awake and facing me, like it's the guilt that makes you avoid any eye, eye contact. And it's the fact that I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how to tell you this. So like, it makes you run away from him. But at the same time, when he was sleeping and he looks at him, he looks at him with so much love. So I felt that this contrast or this dilemma that was going on inside um, Abraham's heart and, and mind was like portrayed in those silent moments. Exactly. Can you draw on personal experience or is there a time when you felt like, man, this is just a faith walk, but I'm gonna put that one step in front of the other? Yeah, weirdly enough, yeah. You know, I, I, I do a lot of uh, faith walks in my mm -hmm. life. Like I changed country, I moved from Lebanon to Egypt while I had nothing offered in Egypt. Um, my marriage was kind of a faith walk because we've only met for five months and now we're Thank God we're, we're super happy uh, and blessed we have each other. So yeah, I do this, I do this. And I know that, that you're a father now, but you weren't when mm -hmm. you made the film. Looking at it through the lens of a parent. Yeah. A new take on it. You know, always like for me as an actor, I always work with my own history, with my own emotions. I think that those are my working tools. So I, when I wasn't a father, I had like to find out this situation. So I have my best man's son, whose name is Noah. He was four, I think, back then. And Noah is kind of like the love of my life. I love this guy so much. And I feel like I can like be kind of his father in the sense of the emotions I have for him. So I had to picture Noah while shooting the movie and while preparing for the movie. And it was very intense to the point that even after I finished the movie, after the movie wrapped, it was kind of very hard on me like to let go of these emotions I have. 